Hello? Is this thing on? Ooh. What's up guys? Give me Siren Sims back in it again with another aerial video. So I decided to do this again because I wanted to expound on some of the points I had in my last video. The audio was bad in that video as well, so you know there's that. But it's also one of my highest view and highest liked videos, which you know just kind of proves the point I've been saying to people like until I start making real money for, from this thing I'm just gonna use what I have you know I watch people who don't have the best audio as well so it's not like it's a big problem and if it is you can go somewhere else because I'm sure I'm not the only one with certain opinions anyways so I I wanted to talk about remakes mermaids, sirens, the whole nine. So I think we should discuss it, right? Like I said before in the beginning where the audio was terrible, one of the reasons I call myself Siren Sims is because of a bunch of things. Number one, Ariel, you see my favorite princess, even though Eric is still my favorite prince, I know a popular opinion. He's, a, he's my favorite prince because of nostalgia and everything that his beautifully animated ass meant to me not because he's better than like Naveen or like uh, Flynn Rider or Eugene he's not better than them at all but he was my awakening okay and also Aladdin I like Aladdin too but just saying when I was a kid he was my favorite of course I've grown from that but he'll still hold a special place in my heart I call myself Siren Sims because I've always liked you know, mermaids, sirens, that whole nine. Even though I can't swim, which is unbelievably hilarious. Um, you know, I, I like singing even though I don't really think I can, which is why I start with the offbeat ooze, you know, hilarious. And, you know, every time I do go to the beach, I kind of just lay there in the sand or in the shallow waters and pretend I'm a mermaid washing up on the shore and you know that's why I decided to call myself Siren Sims because I've always liked mystical creatures and stuff like that and so I said let's call myself your favorite mystic and my own favorite mystic because mermaids are my favorite occult which is actually the reason why when I started playing the sims or the sims 3 in particular one of the first um, expansion packs that I got was the Island Paradise expansion pack. Not because I cared about going to hotels and saving people, no, because I wanted the Mermaid Occult. And even though it was a little bit limited, I was very happy with it. People need to realize is that you're never going to get everything you want. Unpopular opinion approaching. I've just realized recently that I don't really care for like the whole let's make our own stuff thing and there are a couple of reasons why. Number one, there's nothing original under the sun. You want to complain that Disney is doing all these remakes, but Disney's literally been remaking old fairy tales for years and knockoffs of original stories from other places. Now, let me bring something up here. Lion King, right? Black people have unintentionally made that their story because it's African lions and some of the voices were played by black people. And, you know, we unintentionally, so it's not official, but low key, it's our Disney movie. You know, we respect it and all of that. And that story was remade from an Asian story. I'm saying Asian because I don't know which type. I can't remember if it's Chinese or Japanese. Called Kimba. And that was a white lion. Right? So Disney just took Shakespeare and took Kimba and added a lot of Broadway music. Right? 
and the iconic voice of James Earl Jones and Maid Lion King. And even after that, there were videos on YouTube that were trending a little bit about the fact that Disney stole the idea for Lion King. Not just from retelling Shakespeare, but actually stole it from another property. Nobody cared. Nobody. They redid a bunch of other stories from Hans Christian Andersen and Grimm Brothers. But what happened? All they did was make those stories less grim, less dark, less depressing, except Hunchback of Notre Dame. No, I think actually it was more depressing, but they still added a level of depth to it so that most people don't know that it actually could have been worse. They have consistently been retelling stories for the longest, barely ever having an original thought until um, the channel original movies, which still weren't original, they were just childish versions of adult movies. Right? But it was original enough, right? Then you had stuff like Cheetah Girls and That's So Raven and Kim Possible, which were stories that hadn't necessarily been told because they were told from the expect from the perspective of the young people. Right? They took Cinderella, they took Beauty and the Beast, they took Snow White, you know, Hansel and Gretel. You know, they either kill the witch or they die. There have been many retellings of that in different ways. Like, there really is nothing original under the sun. So the idea that we're just supposed to come out of our asses with a brand new concept. First of all, 90% of concepts that come out nowadays, if you think that they're brand new, it's just because you either haven't seen anything like it in a long time, or maybe they changed one or two things that place the perspective differently. So like, it's a romance movie, but it's between two non-binary people. So people think that it's brand new, when really, romance is not brand new. What is brand new is the perspective. The perspective of it being two non-binary people, right? So there never is going to be an original thought. But what you can do to make yourself stand out is have a brand new perspective. And so what Disney has been doing, and I'm not saying that I completely endorse them, I've hated almost all of their remakes, including Aladdin, another popular opinion. Aladdin was ass. The best part of it was Will Smith. But I think everybody, even the people that did like the movie, knew that. So, you know, when you get mad at The Little Mermaid, because you just want Disney to be more original. Why couldn't Disney just make a black princess that just so happened to be a fish? Why did it have to be Ariel? Number one, if they made a black mermaid, right, and didn't call her Ariel, y'all would just compare it to a little mermaid. First of all, that's just, that's just number one, okay? Second of all, it probably wouldn't get that many views because it's easier for things to make money when black people are not at the center. Now, I'm not saying that they don't make money, I said it's easier for them to make money, okay? Second of all, sometimes us as black people don't want to, you know, back our own thing. I saw this channel recently, I just came off it immediately after hearing this, where this guy spoke about how Viola Davis was just you know, guilt tripping people into watching The Woman King. Now mind you, I haven't watched it because it's not really my type of movie. Maybe one day I'll view it, but it's not really my type of thing. I'm not really into seeing black women look like that. But I'm not going to make an entire video bashing it. Like, in order to get the representation I want to see, there has to be representation, period. So even though I might have issues with a movie or a show, that features a lot of black people in there because of the way that they're featured, I still also know that I'm not going to make a giant platform about it because at least we're there. That's how it starts. We have to be there and then we get the roles. You know what I mean? So it would just really hurt me for him to say that. And what made it worse is that he showed what she said and it just kind of, in my opinion, devalued his point. He made it seem like she was trying to guilt trip us, but all she did was say the facts of the situation. 
the facts being that you know if this movie doesn't do well because people don't come to see it Hollywood the machine that it is will decide that that means that black women can't lead or be the majority in a major film and so they won't put money into it and so those movies will stop being made she was right I mean if you felt guilt tripped by that that's your own business I myself didn't even want to really go see the movie this is something me from doing that because I know what she's saying and she's saying the truth don't say that she's trying to guilt trip you or that she's trying to make something up. This is the truth. This is honesty. And I do understand that sometimes we want to be portrayed in a certain light. That part of this video I, I got because that's me. You know, I want to be portrayed in a certain light. However, however, in order to be portrayed the way you want, you have to get in the door first. A lot of people... You know, it's funny, like, we'll watch movies where we'll scream at the main character for not understanding that sometimes you have to just let certain things slide to get what you want. You'll be like, yes, you have to just smooge this asshole to get the partner position. Why don't you understand that, Candy? But then us in real life, we, we don't understand it either. And we're here, we're shitting on these metaphorical people for not understanding that it's a hard not life and sometimes you have to do or see things that you don't want to do or see to get the desired outcome but we in real life don't want to come to terms with that either we don't want to come to terms with the fact that in order to get the mythical black shows and movies that we deserve we have to go through a couple remakes one thing with this right with the aerial thing, twofold. One, people are saying that they're parent to black people and Hallie didn't get through because she's talented. I don't personally believe that, but I do think that even though the director may have felt one way, Disney probably did have an ulterior motive. And what's the motive? Testing. Testing. They want to see if black people really have the money to bang their buck, right? Are, do if black people come in in droves, will it make sales? Okay. If we can count on the black market for more than just ideas to, 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 to take, then we can make more of their stories. Then, do white people come and see this? Because we know they got some money. Okay. They came to see this. They like this. We can make this a mainstream thing because we know we're going to make money. With corporations, they've got to know that they can make money before they care about the semantics like good storytelling and representation, bleh. They want to know they can make money first. And to all the black people out there who are upset with LGBTQ and the fact that they're getting way more representation, good or bad, you want to know how they got it? They were just there first. They were injected slowly. And what happened? Companies saw that the LGBTQ had money. If they were headlined or if they were featured or if they were in a side role, people will come out in droves and give them money. And now they're getting their own movies, their own roles, their own features because they know that it is marketable and they can monetize it. Black people have always been there on the side. But they're never going to give us the full respect we deserve until we show them that we are monetizable. And that sucks, but it just is a situation. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes we lose sight of the bigger picture, which is what I was trying to get across in my Black Panther 2 video as well. You know, let's get into the second section of this where I wanted to speak about, you know, how people are reacting to this movie. With the original Little Mermaid, it was dark. It was so gruesome. You know, she lost everything to try and be with this man. Going through unimaginable pain at her feet. He, the prince didn't know, right? But when they met, finally, he made her dance for him. And every step was like stepping on knives. So she danced around for him like stepping on knives just to win his affection. 
only for him to genuinely fall for somebody else. And then she just ends up unaliving herself. So Disney changed that story. Also, Hans Christian Anderson was allegedly gay and wrote that story about his experience falling in love with a guy. That did not get translated into the Disney story either and Hans didn't even fully translate it into his own story because a lot of people didn't know that that was a thing. So, what I'm saying, right? What I mean by all of this is that especially with this story, even the writer didn't put across everything he wanted to put across. Doesn't matter if he did or didn't mention the skin color, if he did or didn't mention a specific building that's only in Danish country, doesn't, doesn't matter. This story is so ambiguous that it could be done any which way. And for the people of color who are going to scream that we need our own representation, someone says something that I agree with. When we do get our own stuff, you guys don't back it in droves. You don't. Do you know how many black people didn't even know Black Panther was a thing? That's why I love it or hate it. It was important because we needed that representation. We need this representation too. Black women need this representation. I like Hallie. I like Little Mermaid. I think Hallie's a princess. Two and two just go together for me. I'm sorry. You know, I know a lot of people want to be like, it's not fair, we should just make our own stuff. And as I was going to say before, and I didn't, on popular opinion, I don't really want original stuff. Because to y'all, original is just like some princess from the Bronx or some African princess queen. I don't relate to being an African princess. And I don't relate to being a Bronx queen. I also don't relate to being a fish. So I don't really think your original ideas are going to be that different from the hijacked white fantasy that we get in now. You guys think you're going to be so original. You're not. You're just going to be copy and pasting old ideas with new perspectives. And that's fine. But don't get upset that somebody wants to see this. Some people are going to watch it and you're just going to have to deal with it. You know? I heard this perspective that why are people even arguing about this? It's a kids movie. It's for the kids. I think that's such an interesting argument. You know, people use the whole it's a kids thing to lower the importance of something. You know? But to stop you from talking about how stupid something is because of course it's supposed to be dumb it's for kids when there is hundreds of evidence out there showing that sometimes kids media is smart is deep has depth even more than some adult media i want to see this movie because it's important to me if you don't want to see it i get it but the little aggy post where you swap Ariel and the characters in for like Neo and Morpheus or Dumbledore and Hogwarts or some Lord of the Rings characters. You know like those those dumb posts where you're quoting famous scenes or putting Ariel in it as a as a stealth way of being racist. Cut it out. If you don't want to see it, just don't see it. Apparently it has millions of dislikes. There, you made your message, then don't see it. However, the movie has already been made, and so I'm gonna go see it. There are also things that they could do that nobody's doing. There are black superheroes that are girls that haven't been made in the last 10 years, meaning that they're not injected with whatever propaganda people are worried about these days. Those stories still haven't even been told. So I don't really care about having whole new stories made. I care about seeing myself. I guess I have said before in videos that I got over that. But even if you get over it as a point of conduct, it's still going to be there in the back of your head. 
when you get over something you don't forget about it you just don't make it the only thing you think about anymore I'm gonna need you guys to be a little bit more fair to black women so just try please you know I I understand that despite the fact that you guys have 10 princesses the one that has the least historical significance is the one that you want to fight for more than any other one I get it um, but maybe if you could just stop please and for all of you who are saying what if we changed Mulan to a black person or a white person what if we made Tiana white what if we race bent you guys have done it a thousand times um, to the point where I put, I'm making a video showing the examples, but I just don't care. You're being obtuse. You're being obtuse and disingenuous. You guys did an entire movie of Genghis Khan using this white actor. Are we really going to play these games? Y'all keep doing Cleopatra as a white woman and nobody says anything. Right? Y'all played... Spanish women or well, certain types of Spanish women that were Afro Latina as white or biracial like y'all do this all the time you do it all the time as much as I love Robert Downey Jr. and I do he did blackface in that one jungle whatever movie like y'all do it all the time so let's not act like it's a threat like what if we did it to you like y'all been doing it this aerial thing is not the same. <laughs> you want to know what makes it worse? Y'all do it in historical context. Y'all do it with stuff that isn't necessarily fictitious. That's, that is literally the context in which you guys do the race bending. But when we do it with a fantasy character that's not real, it's a problem. And like I said before in my other one, there are times where I felt like you shouldn't have race bent it. But it's not because of the race bending itself. It's because sometimes writers use race and gender bending as an excuse to do lazy writing. Like, oh, let's put Thor in the perspective of a woman and that's it. You're not going to add any depth. You're not going to add any kudos. Like, oh, let's make a black Superman. That's it. You're not going to add any depth. You're not gonna, you know, that's where I'm like, Ugh. sometimes when I see it, I cringe. Not because they've done it, because I know what it's going to lead to. Y'all aren't thinking like that, so stop making the excuses. And I'm sure there's a minor 2% that are thinking that. But let's not drum up the, the many as, as if they're the few. They're not. Majority of you, especially the ones that are making the comments and adding to millions of dislikes. Y'all aren't the ones that care about the writing. You're just the ones that care about image. And you need to get over it. I am someone that is also very critical about TV. There's a lot of opinions. Be constructive about it. You don't have to be, you know, racist. You don't have to be. It's not hard. It's not hard to, to, to try and think critically. If the movie comes out next year and it's not good, then it's not good. I said before in my video that I kind of don't really care if it's good or not because I've always wanted to see her as Ariel as soon as I heard about this and I think the music will be good at the very least and that's about good enough for me. So do and say whatever you want to do or say in the comments. Let me know what you think. Try to be respectful because I'm still trying to be respectful. I'm still not trying to call anybody an idiot or, or call people out or be completely rude. Because, you know, maybe it'll give you some ideas about how to act as a person. If we're talking about a TV show, then we get a disrespect because it's not a TV show, it's not real. If we're talking about actual human behavior towards a fictional character, then we have to take societal norms into account. It's 2022, guys. This shouldn't be a problem. And just like I've always said, if you don't like the remake, fine. The original is still there. Okay? The movie hasn't come out yet. So it's not like there's a Korra where you're upset that people even like it. It hasn't come out yet. The same people who are going out for it now could end up saying it's ass later. Just wait. Wait till it comes out, then do your outcry. Then say, 
y'all were doing all this raw raw but it wasn't even good do that then i would prefer you do that that all of this preliminary raw raw for nothing for nothing bro anyways i just wanted to speak about this because i felt like it i've been scared to say a lot of things on this channel but you know what i did this channel for me so i'm just gonna say what i feel like anyways goodbye my stars Susu. So